Hey, it's Ted here. I'm out on a J32, is that right? J92. J92 racing sailboat, one I worked on before, did the wiring. I'll show you the uh, next phase, and we have an impeller failure. Not uncommon, but let me show you how this works. All right, so I've already got the cover off. It's a triangular cover. This is a 1GM-10, uh, and I pulled the impeller out already. It's behind the front harmonic balancer puller, so it's not the easiest application. And the old impeller, I pulled it out. And it looks okay, but the hub has separated from the actual rubber impeller part, and that's what's failed. So this is spinning inside, the rubber's not spinning. So we're gonna put a new one on. It does not come with this gasket behind the pump body, that's a separate part number. So we're gonna finagle that impeller in here. It's not too bad. Um, tiny little screws, takes a seven millimeter wrench. You know, uh, ideally you could pull the pulley off if you have that ability, you know, impact on puller, get that out of the way. But if you've got good technical hands like mine, you've done this a million times, you can get in here and get that out. So just to show you that the impeller actually looks okay, but it's not. So I'll put it down here and it doesn't look that bad. Okay, colors in, covers on, just to show you what it looks like. One last thing here. So uh, that was three bolts down there. The one um, that's back up here is behind the pulley. So you need to take a pair of needle nose if you're destitute and you have to do this. Hold that bolt on the shank with the needle nose and then just push it in with your finger and then you can take the needle nose and get it started. That's a little trick for you, so. All right, we're gonna fire it up and see how it runs. Okay, here's another one. Uh, just to make sure it's pumped the water, watch your finger. Put it on the cover. You wanna put your finger on the cover, away from the belt and the pulleys. If it's nice and cool, it's pump the water, which it is. Okay. I don't recommend that except for experts to do that, like me. So happy owner, nice day out here. A little warm summertime here in Wickford, Rhode Island. And they're working on that house, this is kind of cool. I just noticed that, they're doing stage and work on it, so that's gotta be an expensive project. That's an old lighthouse on the point that somebody lived in, it's a beautiful house. All right, I got a minute and uh, I got the impeller home here with me and you know from looking at it when it was inside the housing everything looked good all the veins looked okay it's actually kind of gone back to its normal shape but as you can see um, if you turn it to its side it had um, obviously been run dry and it caught a vein there caught a vein there it just overheated and grabbed the vein and there's the tear mark when you take it out but you can see if I squeeze it it's totally separated there you go so that's you know that's the failure of a dry impeller that's got some hours on it and I've seen new ones that are not made by the manufacturer aftermarket whoever makes it probably made overseas someplace you know, and um and those will do the same thing. They'll just separate. So, you know, this is a bronze piece. The rubber is glued to it. Once it gets too hot, the glue breaks down. That's from running it dry. See, caught closed. So just so you can see what it looks like, you know, and this is a tiny thing. I mean, you can see the size of my thumb. It's tiny. This is a 1GM little one-cylinder diesel. I mean, you first open it up and you look at this side. It actually looks like it's brand new when it's in there, but it's, you know, separated. So you just reach in there with some needle nose, pull it out, and then the first thing I do is I just try and squeeze the impeller veins with my fingers. And right away, you can see it's separated. So, um, problem solved, we fixed it. Put a new one in it, and, uh, you know, back in business. All right, so this is another short one, uh, just to show you what it looks like when you pull the impeller out. Don't always assume it's good. That's uh, might be separated. All right. I'll catch you on the next one. If you like the video, please subscribe. I'll see you later.